Welcome to this video and this is Gion tutorial and Gion is one of the brown belt catters. It's quite a long catter, second longest brown belt catter after Kankudai. So we're going to get straight into the catter. Joy! So in the yoy position, don't have your elbows sticking out too far, don't have them in too close, roughly level with the side of your body. Try and keep the fist, the right fist, wrist straight. Try not to bend one way or the other. And the hand folds over the top. Okay, so fist is roughly level with the chin. And some of you are going to have your thumb at the side of your hand. And some of you, I know, put the thumb in the middle of the fist. Either way is fine. Either way is fine. So roughly level with the chin, don't have the elbows out too far, and the fists and hand are the same distance from your body as your elbows. So try not to have your fists close to your chin or too far away. Same, same distance, straight up and down from the elbows. So watch Sensei on the first move. One. Now even though Sensei's stepping back, the feeling is going forward. And the reason is, is be, I know a lot of people treat these two moves as two blocks, and we do also in some of the applications, but we also treat them as two strikes. This one punching down, and this one striking forward. Striking forward. So the feeling should be forward, even though you're stepping back. Watch Sensei one more time. Now, halfway position, Sensei, one. So look how Sensei's arms have come, hit, come in close. One's ready for the back fist strike, one's ready for the punch, or Uchiyuki, get on bry. As Sensei steps back, he keeps his hips square, so he's not twisted the body sideways on. Everything is showman square. So if you notice, similar position to Hian Sandan with the arms. Make sure the fist is like the Uchiyuki position, fist to a fist and a half, the elbow away from the body. Roughly level with the sh shoulder on the fist. One. And back again, Sensei. So, watching Sensei do it smoothly so you can see the move, now we're going to break it down. Halfway, one. So, what happened here is Sensei's arm, the Gidambarai arm, literally just came up to the back of the right wrist. Both palms are facing inwards, they face towards you. Sensei's kept low. His back leg is set, two. So unlike Hian Yondan, which is in back stance and it's a V-shaped block, kakiwak, this one is in front stance and the arms are straight. So there's no V-shape with the arms on Gion. Straight. And again, applications are for another video. So from here, watch Sensei do the full combination, one. It's my Gedi Sanbonzuki. So front kick and then three punches. And back one more time, Sensei. 
So we're in front stance, showman, body square. When Sensei kicks, he does not move the arms. And you kick and hold your balance, Sensei. One. So look at Sensei's arms, they're still there. Now this doesn't pull back. Two. It extends. So the fist, the arm, extends into the punch. Sensei uses his legs and hips on the reverse punch. Two. And again, three. So there's double hip movements on every punch which we'll go into the more detail. This, this tutorial we're classing as a basic tutorial simply for people that want to brush up on Gion or they don't know Gion. The more advanced Gion is another video for black belts and senseis. From here, watch, and these punches, by the way, are chewed down to the body. So all three punches to the body. Watch sensei come in halfway, one. Again, the palms are facing towards Sensei on the arms are crossed. He's now going to step with the right leg. Two. Comes around square with the body in Zenkostash front stance. So we'll go straight through with this one. But remember what we said about the other side. The arms don't move when you kick. And then as you land, you just drive the left arm forward. All the way through, Sensei. One. And back to the start, Sensei. So just watch Sensei do this whole sequence now. Hajime. Everything is smooth. Gion is really quite a basic kata in terms of the techniques. Very basic. But you've got to apply the advanced principles. Using the hips. Using the body. Shomen, hanmi. So roughly 45 degrees on the angle here. This combination really utilizes shaman hand, hand me, body rotation. So going from square to side on. Okay, so this combination now, there's several movements in this combination and we're gonna let Sensei do it all slowly up to the first Kiai. Hajime. So this time we're going to break that combination down into individual techniques. The first one, Agyuki. Watch how Sensei does the Agyuki from here. Halfway position, Sensei. He's prepared the Agyuki arm in the Hikite position. And this arm is marking, ready to block. Sensei's hips have come square. And the reason they've come square is because when Sensei blocks, his body will rotate into the Hami position too. Because from the hammy position, he can drive into the reverse punch. Three. So make sure that body is side on, then square. Okay, the punch is chewed down to the body. Now on this next move, since the feeling is that you're grabbing hold of someone with this arm. And then you're, you're pulling as you step forward. Okay, halfway position, Sensei. One. So Sensei's pulled the blocking arm back, ready to block. This arm is marking. Again, sends his hips are square. Two. Upper rising block. Agyuki. Hammy. Side facing. So sends he can drive off with the left leg. Reverse punch. Two. So there's Agyuki Gakazuki twice. And the next two moves is Agyuki and then Oizuki. So we've done Agyuki Gakazuki. Agyuki Gakazuki. Now halfway position, Sensei. One. Again, Sensei's got his blocking arm ready. He's marked here. Agyuki, one. And straight from here, this time, no Gyakazuki, straight into Oizuki in the first Kiai, two. Notice Sensei's body, Shomen, square. Punch into the center, Chudan. Okay, watch Sensei now, pivot round. 